Greetings, everybody. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. And that's eternal life. This is just some quick thoughts on the artificial intelligence, or AI, as they call it, and what they call transhumanism, or the merging of machine and man. You know, there was uh, the Terminator movies. I remember that came out in the first Terminator movie, came out, what, about 1984 or so? I thought that was one of the greatest movies I'd ever seen in my life. I wasn't a believer then. And then the second movie was, some people say it was even better than the first. But the uh, if you've never seen it, it's probably worth taking a look at, at least the first one. The premise being that uh, they built a supercomputer network and with artificial intelligence and the machines became self-aware and decided humans were the enemy and they turned the machines against us. So, you know, right now, they're building autonomous weapon systems that don't even need human control. They're working on it here in the United States and in Russia. Now, the premise was that the, uh, the machines, on their own initiative, considered humans the enemy, turned against us, and started killing the humans atomic warfare, since they were in control of all the weapons, you know, they set off atomic bombs or, you know, nuclear weapons and wiped out, almost wiped out humanity. So, do I think this is going to happen? No, I really don't. Do I think machines will possibly kill humans? Absolutely. But I kind of, now, I'm not saying I'm right. It's just a thought I'm kind of throwing out there. Because I don't know if or when it's going to happen. But it has been Satan and his children and his followers. They love to show us in movies what they have planned 20, 30 years in advance. And it's taken a while for the technology of Terminator to, to where it's, well, it's coming to pass, the technology. They didn't have the technology in the 80s. I studied electronics and computers back in the 80s. But I tell you what, they've got technology now. And they're at least 10, 15, 20 years ahead of what they show us, what they have. I mean, you know, they've got stuff now that it's, they're, they're not even going to show us. But I'm of the opinion that it'll probably be Satan's angels pretend, pulling the strings, performing things, trying to make us think that it's artificial intelligence. But I think it's really going to be Satan's fallen angels doing all the killing. And if you don't think that God would allow this, read the book of Jeremiah sometime, and the book of Lamentations. Of course, the pre-trib rapture people will never believe this. But, uh, and transhumanism. They think this is all going to tie in together, that we're going to take our brains and plug it into a computer and download our brain like software into a computer. And then when the bo our bodies die... We have eternal life because our brain, our soul, our ghost, our spirit will be inside a computer or a machine. And there was, let's see, in the, I think it was in the, yeah, it was in the 90s. There was a Japanese animation series, movie and series, TV series called Ghost, Ghost in the Shell. That was the name, Ghost in the Shell. And that was the premise of that movie. And they, they had that in the 90s. And um, 
you know, people merged. People downloaded their brains into bodies. Uh, originally, they were doing it with people that were para like paralyzed and their bodies were no good. Those were the first ones that they supposedly did this to. Well, here it is. You know, they're, they're, they've been using TV and movies for years to get people to accept what now they're saying is science. You know, they say they have the technology for all this stuff. Do they? I don't think so. There was a, um, I think it was an Outer Limits, not the old one, the black and white one, not the old one in the 60s or 50s and 60s. But there was one, I think it was in the 80s or in the 90s, they had the new series. And they had some, uh, what was like, like dinosaur, small, you know, small human-sized dinosaurs, rep reptiles. And they came from another planet, and they came down here to Earth, and Earth was just utterly polluted and, and, and just, you know, too much pollution, and people were uh, dying young because there was so much pollution that we had destroyed the Earth, the ecology. And they were taking supposedly a select group of people to their planet. And those of you that watched uh, SG-1, Stargate, whatever, they had some kind of device that transported the people to the planet. Well, what it did was is it cloned the people. And uh, the clones knew, I mean, they were like copies of the people. I mean, exact copies, knew everything, their memory, everything. I mean, it was them, basically. But what they did was now they had two people, one on the planet and one here. So what they did was they destroyed the original here on Earth. They killed them. And supposedly the copy was on the other planet learning the ways of the, the reptiles. Isn't it funny? Satan's called that old serpent the dragon. The great red dragon, that old serpent called the devil and Satan. That's in the book of Revelation. I found it funny, uh, interesting Honestly, I'm I'm not sure I'm not sure if I was a Christian back then. I didn't think anything of it back then. But uh it's funny the uh these reptiles the drag these dragons came down to to help earth to help us get out of this mess. But they had to kill the original and then take us to the other planet. And I always wondered how how do you know that that uh, the copy is even alive or it was there. Nobody ever saw the two copies. It's just they put the person in a thing and supposedly they were on the other planet and then they killed the original person here on Earth. And then supposedly a number of years later when they learned whatever they needed to learn, they'd come back. Well, wasn't it the serpent in Genesis 3 that uh, told Eve, promised her, you know, eat of the tree and, and you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil? You know, it's funny. They, they, t television mocks the Bible. So do the movies. But if you've never bothered to read it from cover to cover, you wouldn't notice these things. So, you know, I, I wonder... You know, all this stuff has been programming, brainwashing, planting the seeds of all this garbage into our minds so that when they come out with the, the and the, and the, believe me, the newspapers and TVs and radio stations and the movies are all, the banks and the insurance companies and the pharmaceutical companies are all owned by the same group of people. I went to college for computer science I went to vocational school for electronics, and I also, uh, when I went to college, I also took business. I, ha I was a dual major. One thing I knew how to do was look up stuff in business, like the board of directors. Uh, it was really interesting when I started finding out, you know, who was in control of the far country, who had control of the banks and the money. 
I started researching the boards of directors of all some of these big corporations, uh, you know, like NBC, CBS, ABC, um, the pharmaceutical companies, you know, who was head of the Food and Drug Administration. Almost always it was a vice president from a drug company that became head of the FDA. I mean, it was just uh, all the boards of directors were all were all the same names would crop up over and over and over and over and over and over. It was just amazing. It was like the same group of people control everything. They're 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 on the boards of directors for these defense contractors. Uh, they're on the board of directors for the the media, the news media that tells us that oh North Korea is bad and and Iran is bad. And we've got to have war and we've got to destroy them. Well, who's making money? When we go to war, I mean, think about it. You know, remember Saddam Hussein, his weapons of mass destruction that he didn't have, but they told us, and we destroyed his country because of a lie. And don't think they didn't know. And besides, if he did have weapons of mass destruction, you know, poison gas, just remember something. Saddam Hussein was fighting Iran. Well, guess what? It was, uh, we were the ones, the United States was the one that sold Saddam the poison gas that he used against the Iranians in his battles. So, remember that. All right, well, that's just some of my thoughts. This is Chaplain Bob saying, uh, All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Lamb of God, slain before the foundation of the world, in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, things are going to get rough. Um, it could be the end of this year. You never know. All right. Take care. Bye.